just walk us through after what has been a, a fairly significant week for Europe as we've been hearing about how many countries are going to pivot towards the future and think about different guidelines and rules. Just give us a sense of how market moving that has been and how it's changed your view on the what lies ahead now for ESG. Yeah, thanks, Karen, for, for asking me to join. You know, it's really interesting that this week is actually sort of representative of what's happening in the market. We obviously see what's happening with the EU in terms of legislation and regulation, and of course, the tragedy of what's happening in Germany and Belgium. And our thoughts are obviously with the families um, and, and, and the governments there. But I think one of the things that's happened, and you mentioned it, I think we're really at a tipping point um, in terms of how ESG is really changing the nature of our markets. I mean, a lot of people have wanted ESG to be a product, but I don't think of it as a product. I actually think of it more like an operating system. And when I think about an operating system, I'm going to draw an analogy with maybe like a computer operating system. So a computer operating system is really the language um, a computer uses to control its basic functions. And we build applications on top of that. And to me, the process that asset managers and banks and insurers and others are going through to integrate these ESG factors are what we call in economics externalities, things like pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. That's creating a new operating system for our markets. And of course, with what the EU has done, what the SEC is looking at doing, what the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, the mass, what those policymakers and regulators are doing is really just reinforcing it. And this new operating system, risks are going to be evaluated differently. Um, assets are going to reprice and really the parameters on how we think about deploying capital are going to change. And I'm not one of those people who basically say that it's the only operating system, but I do think that it's developing the scale that it really needs to reshape our markets. I mean, Bloomberg estimates that probably I don't know, ESG AUM could reach about 53 trillion of AUM. That's one third of total assets. And when one third of the market evaluates risk and deploys capital differently, taking these ESG factors into consideration, um, and it's reinforced by um, stimulus programs, by, by regulation, then it's bound to reshape markets for everyone, even the people who don't care about ESG. Ellery, I was looking recently at the ramifications of these European stress tests for climate change and it's still early days and I think the central banks yet to communicate on how this is going to play out and what it means for holding more capital down the track potentially if you are going to be lending out money to various parts of the economy that could be at risk from climate change. But through the lens of Germany today, I mean, there is uh, clearly a crisis playing out on the ground around this flooding. But early on, some scientists are saying, have we misread some of the signals? This is happening uh, much quicker than we anticipated in some of our forecasts. If you look at the amount of rainfall, what does that mean as you talk about this operating system for ESG? Could we see uh, an acceleration in some of the assessment based on some of the factors we're witnessing? Yeah, it's a really good question. And, and of course, we don't really know because this is uncharted territory. Uh, but the reality is um, weather isn't climate, but climate informs weather. And we already see these events, these 100-year events, these 20-year events happening more frequently, and the financial impacts are much greater. We already see glimpses of climate being priced into our markets. So we see it across our asset classes, across fixed income, the short cycle commodities, of course, insurance underwriting, and look at what's happened in the most recent AGMs. So we are seeing those glimpses. Um, investment strategies are changing as well. We don't see the regulators, we see them looking at climate um, differently. We think we see them certainly asking us to evaluate where climate is embedded in our balance sheet and starting to do those stress tests. I mean, we've just been working on those for the UK PRA. Um, but so far, we haven't seen a lot of evidence of different capital treatment in terms of either um, sort of a, a, a higher capital requirements for Brown or ideally um, incentivizing more green investment, finding ways to de-risk those.